What's up guys, JV2017 here with today's Destiny Tips and Tricks video and we're looking at the most consistent, reliable, and efficient ways to get Ascendant Materials because I know a lot of us, including myself, are getting into the upper 20s on light level and the only thing to get us beyond level 27 or 28 is to find more exotics and raid legendaries and to upgrade them with Ascendant Materials. In order to do that, we need a lot of Ascendant Shards for our, our armor and Ascendant Energy for weapons. So let's get to it. The first method I have for you all is to complete the Daily Heroic Story. And in order to get Ascendant Materials from this, you need to complete it on either level 24 or level 28. If you do it on level 24, you get a guaranteed one Ascendant Material. If you do it on 28, guaranteed one, uh, two two Ascendant Materials. So this only works on the first time you complete that daily heroic story, but the good thing is it refreshes every day. So this is one of the, again, most consistent and reliable ways to get Ascendant Materials. You're guaranteed two if you do it on level 28 every single day, which is totally doable on level 26 or 27, by the way. The next method is to complete public events. The first time that you complete a public event, you get Ascendant Materials. They're guaranteed. You may get a Strange Coin, but you're guaranteed one of those kinds of you know items in the game. However, most of the time, in my experience, I've gotten Ascendant Materials. And every single time you do it, the first time in a day, just like a daily heroic, you will get one of those kinds of items. So really, Method one and method two that I outlined in this video are the most consistent and reliable methods. They really work if you do them every single day, you're going to be increasing your chances of getting Ascendant Materials as quickly as possible. So these next two methods are a little more challenging and difficult. Method number three is to open raid chests. So there are a certain amount of raid chests in the Vault of Glass, that's the only raid that's available right now. And the reason this is less reliable is because you really need to be like level 27 in order to tackle the Vault of Glass. So that's pretty much a requirement, and the other requirement, you need to know where the chests are. And something else to note is that you can only gain, you know, anything from these chests every week because the raids reset every Tuesday. That's the raid lockout schedule. So you can only benefit from however many Ascendant Materials are going to be in those chests once a week. And I want to say, if I were to estimate it, it'd be like two to four Ascendant Materials that you could get from those chests. So that's another method. And then the final method that I have in this video is completing the weekly nightfall strike. Now I can't guarantee any information here because when you actually click on it, as you can tell here, it says unknown rewards, which is very uh, ominous. But I've heard, you know, word around the street is that you can get like 12 ascendant materials from completing this. You either get like a legendary an exotic or a ton of ascendant materials from completing the week weekly nightfall strike. However, that is literally harder than the Vault of Glass. Hands down, the weekly nightfall strike is always harder than the nightfall, uh, sorry, the Vault of Glass. It's just ridiculous, it's so hard. I can't even beat it with my buddies and we're good. We're pretty good at Destiny. So anyways guys, these were my methods and I hope they were helpful. If you learned something new in this video, please remember to click that like button, I'd really appreciate it. Also, don't forget this is your number one destination for Destiny content. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will talk to you all next time. Peace!